All right, so if you've ever had this happen to you where you've gone to move a bunch of files, let's say architecture from starter content into content, and you've noticed that the previous folder has stayed there, I'm gonna show you why. Now, the reason for this is that when Unreal moves a bunch of files, it actually has to remember where those files were referenced. And in addition to that, it's going to create some special assets in order to store those references to tell uh, whatever is referencing that object where it went. So if I go to delete this empty architecture folder now, you can see that it's actually trying to delete a bunch of assets. Why is that? Well, it's because these are special assets that are called redirectors, and these redirectors are redirecting whatever's referencing that object to where it's been moved to. So it's basically like a middleman saying, oh, you're looking for this object, uh, it's over here now. These are something that you can, you can try and delete them, and sometimes that works, in this case it works. Uh, in general though, I think this is a bad practice, and the reason why is because it can break some things, especially because uh, redirectors, sometimes you can have multiple, and then the redirector of the redirector doesn't know where that one went, and it can just lead to a lot of bizarre uh, kind of errors or bugs that uh, tend to corrupt different assets, so I don't recommend that. Uh, what I do recommend, let me just move this back to uh, recreate these. Um, so you can see that that moved back cleanly um, because we deleted those. However, if I move it back up here, you can see that we recreated this issue. The best way to do it is actually to sh go to your filters. And if you go to other filters, you have show redirectors here. Now I've already clicked it, so it's showing right here. So if I click that, you can see that there's some assets here that have been created and they're called redirector assets. So these aren't shown by default. You actually have to enable this uh, filter in order to see them. And you may notice that we have less redirectors than we do assets. And the reason for this is not all of these assets are being referenced somewhere, right? So not all of these are uh, being used in the project somewhere. And because of that, it doesn't actually need to redirect it. So it's only the ones that are currently being used. Now, when it comes to redirectors, the best way to actually get rid of these is to right click on them and you go to fix up. So fix up basically says, okay, uh, you're the middleman here. Instead of being the middleman, just go ahead and point whatever's referencing that object to where that object has been moved to and then get rid of yourself. That's essentially what this does. Uh, the other options here for redirectors are you can find target. So if you see a redirector somewhere and you're not sure uh, where that asset's been moved to or why that redirector exists, you can just click that and it'll point you to whatever that redirector is for. The other option here is fix up but keep the redirector. Now I've never actually found a reason to use this. Uh, if you know why this option exists or you use it, go ahead and leave a comment, let me know why, but I've never seen a reason to. Now, the next thing that you wanna do is actually not fix these up one by one because that's gonna take forever. Uh, the better way to do it is just to right click on the folder and then you can go to fix up redirectors in folder and just do it that way. So this will do them across that folder. Uh, you can even do it project wide by just going up to uh, like your content folder and just going to fix up redirectors in folder. So that'll just fix up any redirectors inside of your content folder. Uh, so you can just do that anytime you're going to go submit a bunch of assets. So I'm going to go ahead and fix these up just so it's clean. Okay, you can see that all those redirectors have been fixed up and I can now delete this folder and it shouldn't tell me that it's trying to delete any files. So you can see that that worked and that's a much cleaner way to do it than just trying to delete the redirectors as that can actually fail and cause all sorts of bugs. Now, the one other thing you need to know about redirectors is that they can throw some errors when renaming files. So let's say you're not going to move a file, you're just gonna rename something. So I'm gonna rename this floor uh, 400 x 400. So I'm gonna just go ahead, I'm gonna copy the existing name. And let's say, you know, we want a better naming convention. So we're gonna use SM underscore to say that this is a static mesh. So you can see that I've renamed it and it's actually created a redirector to that previous one because that uh, floor is being referenced in here by all of these um, right here. So all of these are using that exact static mesh. So this has created a redirector for that. But let's say I didn't know about redirectors and I'm not seeing it because I don't have this on. And then let's say I, I don't actually want to do this. I want to go back to the previous name. You can see that it's saying that asset already exists at the location. And the reason for that is because it's the redirector. So it's saying that that redirector exists and it has that name. So you can't actually rename this. 
So if you've ever had an issue where you've renamed an asset and then you go to rename it back and it's saying you can't do it, this is why. So all you have to do is right click on that. We're going to fix up. And now if we want to rename this back, we can just go ahead, put our previous name, hit enter. You can see that it worked fine, but even that creates another redirector. So we're just going to go ahead and fix up that one too. Hopefully that was helpful and you learned a bit about redirectors and why you may have some weird errors if you go to move a bunch of files or rename things. If you found this video helpful, go ahead, give me a like. Uh, feel free to put a comment in the comments if you uh, have a question or you know more about redirectors than me and you want to share. Uh, that's always welcome. And with that, yeah, uh, consider subscribing as well.